did an interview with Sky straight after the game and, and they told me that I'd reached over 50, so um, it's not something that normally plays on my mind. To the feet of Dini, round the corner through Padilla, edge of the penalty area, back to Troy Dini on the edge of the box with the shot, Dini with the goal, took a deflection, but he will claim it and Troy Dini has his 50th look for goal. Yeah, you train all week to, to score goals and obviously when you get, I don't know, 50 to 20,000 people wanting you to score, it's uh, it's always a nice feeling, but that release, I suppose, of actually all the training you've been putting in all week, uh, this is what it's for. Abdi's eased away from one defender, and then Dini tries to shot, and oh, finds the top oh, corner! Oh. What a goal from Troy Dini! And the Hornets take the lead here! What a goal from their captain for the night! What a strike that is! That's why sometimes you go a bit crazy, and uh, you know, you don't, you can't, take control of your body, you don't know what you're doing sometimes, but it, it's, it's the nicest feeling going and uh, you know, thankfully I've been doing that quite a lot recently, so uh, long may it continue. And you with the cross, Dini with the header, Dini. there's the goal, Watford have it, and it's Troy Dini, the Birmingham fan, who puts Watford ahead at St Andrews. I have no idea what I do between ball leaving my foot, normally it's like a split second that, oh actually it's gone in and then afterwards I don't know what happens and then I do normally find I'm in a corner somewhere. Big Chris taught me that actually, every time you score just run to a corner and the rest will follow. So yeah, that, that's all I do now, I just end up in a corner somewhere and yeah, happy days. Forrest the area right on into the area, gets the crossing, Hawkins there, heads it down, Dean is there! I think in terms of that goal, I think it's turned me into, I wouldn't say a celebrity or anything like that, but I've gone, from, I think after that goal I was on about 12,000 followers, I think I'm up to like 20, I don't know, like people didn't really know, there's people that knew who I was, but now if you, if you mention that moment, I think your commentary, uh, Johnny Phillips, is, yeah, Johnny Phillips' commentary, uh, yeah, 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 there's all, like, yeah, everyone who did commentary on that made it even bigger, and um, yeah, it was perfect. I think the celebrations were, at the time, I think it was rather wild, but when you think, think back and you think, if you was a fan, if I was a fan there, oh, God knows what I would have done, but yeah, they was all on the pitch, and it, it was just a real defining moment in, in life at the time, and uh, Obviously, I want to. I don't think I'll ever do anything like that ever again. I to be honest, I don't think it will be done that many times in the future. It was Paul Hall when I started at Warsaw. He said he was on a uh, 103 goals, and I, I think I just scored one at the time. And I was like, wow, that's that's good going. That and um, you know, for, to hit 50 now. And I got sent a list the other day of a few people that have scored, and obviously I've seen a few n names on there. Obviously, Luther's at the top, but. Uh, in this day and age to stay around for as long as he would score that many goals you, uh, he's, he's highly unlikely but um, see a few names like Tommy Mooney and that that are in my, in my sights now that I've got to try and catch so you never know I score every game between now and the end of the season I think I take over Tommy so that's the end.